How's it going, guys? It's Walsh here, and I'm back to another What for Career Mode today. I've got a cracking episode lined up for you. I've got Swansea, I've got Angelette, and I've got uh, Liverpool in this episode. Before I go ahead, make sure you smash that like button. And I warn you to go on head on over to my Twitter. I've got a competition for you guys and for you guys only. So go on over there. Go on my Twitter, Walsh Dragon. Yes, she is the first tweet on there. Gary tweet the night, you'll win yourself a prize. So head on over. We'll be very much highly appreciated. Anyway, we are playing Liverpool in our first game. Best defensive record in the league. It's brilliant. Here's our lineup that we're going out with. Morgan and Williams up front, our new partnership. Anyway, let's cross on over live uh, to Griffiths. At the moment. Bernat shoots. T Morgan's coming in late and scores. And I think he's on side as well. What a goal from the Englishman. He bags in 1 0 against Liverpool. 37 minutes gone. What a goal. Not la last episode, actually. We were, so it's kind of looking good. Oh my god, as I say that, Liverpool down in fifth place. They scored an absolute cracking goal moments after has taken the lead. And I cannot deny that. What a goal from Monero. Here we go now. Williams is now on it. Bernat gives my left back with his right foot. Oh, oh, two left backs in a matter of five minutes. What a loft, go for it. And I don't know what I did there, I didn't chip it. I kind of pressed LT and he did a little, oh, that was absolutely beautiful, loft to the keeper. What a goal, 2-1. Move it, he's gone a little bit skewer. He's gonna scoop that in on a bicycle kick. It's a head of two Williams and we've made it 3-1. And he's definitely said we're out of that drought that we had at the start of the season, losing games in the every tournament possible. We're now winning some games in the Premier League. It's 3-1. Daniel Klein, he's been playing exquisite today, as I say that. Oh, Bernard saved by Minule. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I thought I was going in. I mean, and there it is. The final whistle has blown. And we have beaten Liverpool 3-1. And what a result that actually is. We're kind of coming into our own form at the moment. International break is just around the corner. So hopefully we can keep up some momentum while we're on that break. But anyway, 3-1. And what a result that was. That's now moved us up to second place with 24 points. One point behind Manchester United. And of course, guys, I've got a common question of the day as well as our giveaway up on Twitter. And that is, who is better, Ica Casillas or David Gea? You can use them both in their prime. Let me know in the comments section below. And one player that wants to improve is Lewis Cutty. He's going out on low. But a player who's doing absolutely amazing this season so far, it is our only one and only Morgan. He won Player of the Month in the Premier League, so let's have a look at some of his highlights on the month. Become a me. I'm a bride, I'm an imposter. I'm a bride, I'm an imposter. I'm a bride, I'm an imposter. I'm a bride, don't you see the two of me, two of me? Check out, check out, check out, check out and hide. That's what my name is. Check out, check out, check out, check out and hide. That's what my name is. Absolutely amazing. Do you deny him? Does he deserve that player of the month? You can see why. Look at that. Player to watch four goals in his last three matches. What a month he has actually had at Watford. He's coming back into his own. It was a little scare that he has lost his mojo. But he's up front with Williams at the moment. Our 4-4-2 formation seems to be working very, very well. But anyway, let's cross on over to live. Watford versus Swansea City. With the highlights. And here we are. Swansea City going through on goal. Ems is on it. Oh, he's crossing. The keeper came out. And it's 1 0 to Swansea City. Oh, that's not looking good. There's no what we wanted. And we go 1 0 down. We got broke open down that right hand side. So disappointing there. And it's 1 0 Swansea City. Uh, lost the ball now. Swansea City charging down the right hand side once again. It, it's the exact same attack that just happened. A few moments ago, Swansea City broke us open. They are free in the middle. Our defence is broke open again down our right hand side. And in the middle, Ayan and Rugger, not the partnership that they once used to be. And Ems or Gomez gets another goal. Finally, we're on the ball with Morgan's now. He's charging down his right hand side. He gets past one defence. He shots it. Oh, it's off the bar. He tries to get in the back. And it's saved, I think, onto the bar. And let's have a look at this. One more into replay. And oh, it is saved. Tapped on the bar. Could have been. The final whistle does end up blowing and Watford lose against Swansea City, previously beating Liverpool 3-1.
How on earth does this happen? Swatford, is it time for a new manager? The consistency is not there for Griffiths at the moment. Can he change it around? Anyway, we're going to hear from him in a moment after this game. 2-0 Swansea. So that was a bit of a disappointing loss and has knocked this down to fourth place. We do have an interview with the manager just coming up in a few moments about that result. But it's not looking good. Something we need to improve on. Maybe a training session can actually help us out here. Morgan, Rico, Stones all doing a training session today. But we got some news. We will be leaving Canada this episode. Yes, we don't do many international matches. But Portugal offered us a job. Before I carry on talking about that, let's hear from the manager. And to be honest, I kind of don't want to talk much about this game because it was heavily disappointing and it's nothing I really kind of uh, want to dwell on it. I think we just need to go back to the training session, improve and uh, just tip for this embarrassing loss behind us. Uh, personally, that's what I think we need to do. We need to sort that out ASAP. So Portugal we joined, but what about domestic? Roles have come up at Arsenal, Inter Milan and Napoli and I want to know your thoughts. Who do we join? I want to apply for it. I want to see if we should leave Watford or not. Let me know in the comment section below. Do we stick it out until the end of the season? Let me know all below. It's all happening this episode. We could leave Watford by tomorrow. But hey ho, let me know in the comment section below and see what where my future lies. Anyway, here's our lineup. We're in the Champions Cup today against Anderlecht. Hopefully, we can improve today because it's not going too well for us in the Champions League. You have to lose against Fivareal. Let's have the highlights live. Oh! That was, a dirty, that was a dirty, dirty tackle. You can say that. Look at this. Into replay. Oh, my God. I can't just plowed him. Unbelievable. Petros. The ball. Dos Santos is on it now. We'll see what we can do. We got out to Tosic. Tosic goes for the shot. It's just wide. Skimming the post. In the 80th minute, it looks like we're not going to be getting a goal. This game is getting closer and closer, but it's not getting close. Ah, nah. Three and now we're just in the box with Theo. Theo's now on it. He got the ball back with Daddy Ali. Shoot! We shoot! We score! It's off the post. It is off the post in the 90th minute. And what a goal by the young Englishman saving our skin. He dropped down to the second side for this Champions League game. And it looks like he has beaten Anderlecht. It opened up for us. We make it 1 now. There it is. We have won the game in a 90th minute goal. Oh. I'm actually out of breath for that final. For that final, final chance I was. Literally. Unbelievable. We win 1-0. The Anderlecht. We're now on 12 points in the Champions Cup. Daddy Ali is the winner. As I mentioned, 12 points in the Champions League and what a result that was. Guys, that's the end of this episode. I want to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you all had a great day and you've enjoyed this video. So make sure you head on over to my Twitter, get your chance to win some free stuff. All you got to do is simply retweet and follow me on Twitter. It is as simple as that. I will announce it on Friday. Hope you all have a great day. Guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye.